Hi everyone, in this video we're going to take a quick look at this book on partial differential equations. It is part of the International Series in Pure and Applied Mathematics, a little fancy old book. It was written by Greenspan. McGraw Hill. Let's open it up and take a look inside. Partial differential equations. Oh, the smell. It smells amazing. Donald Greenspan, Purdue University, Mathematics Research Center, U.S. Army University of Wisconsin. Cool. And here's the copyright. This is the first edition. 1961. Wow. Wow. Got to give it a whiff here. It smells amazing. Oh, I can just smell the mathematics. Oh, incredible. Incredible. This book is designed for use in a one semester course in PDEs, which is partial differential equations for seniors and beginning graduate students in the mathematical, physical and engineering sciences. It requires for its study only a facility with those concepts of real valued functions, usually explored in advanced calculus, such as one sided limit, greatest lower bound, uniform continuity, multiple integral and absolute convergence. The presentation is rigorous and explores both practical methods of solution and the unifying theory underlying the mathematical superstructure. Cool. Very cool. Let's look at the topics here. So we've got basic concepts. Empty set, union, intersect. Really, really, really specific, <laughs> right? And then Fourier series. Second order partial differential equations. Okay. Thick pages, it's an older book. Wave equation, the potential equation, the heat equation, and then approximate solution of diff partial differential equations, and then survey of other topics. Now you might think there's no answers, but there are. This book does have answers, I'll show you in a minute. So there's answers to some of the questions. Um, let me show you that first actually, just so you see what I mean. So if we go, it's got a lot of, the book has a lot of examples. And you can see someone was carefully working through all of it. It's a nice, clean book. So here, find it here. So here are some exercises, you see. Okay, and you see there's an answer, A and S. See how there's an answer there? Answer. So not all of them have answers. But some of them do. So, yeah, not seeing, not seeing many answers there. Let's look at another section. Some of the other sections have more answers. I guess it depends on the homework set, I guess. But well, here we go. Yeah, see? See, there's more answers there on the side. It's kind of nice. So, yeah, I mean, it would be nice if I had more answers. <laughs> but yeah, it has some, so that's good. I have other PDE books, Partial Differential Equations books, and to be honest, they're the same. They don't have that many answers. Whoever used this book before me, look at the effort. Look at that. Wow. Well, maybe it was, it was this person here, Charles Benjamin Franklin Jr. Maybe he was related to Benjamin Franklin. Probably not. Yeah. Well. So a nice solid book on partial differential equations. Um, you could learn this. You just definitely have to have some mathematical maturity. You want to know how to write proofs. Um, so ideally, yeah, have an advanced calculus class and know those concepts. And then you can jump into something like this, but it's going to give it a whiff. Yeah. Nice book. I will try to find it. I don't know if this is a, a common book, like if it's like easily available or like if it's rare. Uh, maybe it's been reprinted by Dover. Who knows, right? I don't know. I will look for it, and I'll leave a link in the description. If you want to learn math, I have courses. I have a regular differential equations course, not partial, but ordinary. Uh, it's on Udemy, and if you want to get my courses, just use the links in the description of this video, and you can check them out. Until next time, take care.